I hear what you say And although the words are there I think that I will only truly understand you When I hear you scream those words And you will scream And you will scream You will Scream Resident Evil Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and we have another casting addition for this movie, a character that I wasn't sure was going to actually be in it, and I'm very excited to see that he will be, um, because this is a character that's part of the STARS team, and uh, and he has an interesting uh, point in the first game. He's the one who kind of reveals that there's a traitor on the STARS team, and that is Enrico Marini, and we actually have Sammy Azero who is going to play Enrico Marini in this film. He's listed on IMDb, and uh, I'm very curious, uh, you know, because I'm like, wow, this does feel like, like I was thinking, I was like, can you, if this, let's say this is going to be a two-hour movie or two-hour and five-minute movie, um, which I know some people are like, that seems long for a Resident Evil movie. I'm like, yeah, but think about this. If you do the first movie uh, or the first game storyline and you break it into like an hour-long story, and then you take the Resident Evil 2 storyline and break that into a one hour story, which you technically can do because you just don't need to. Video games can be long, right? They can be five, six hours long. Actually, you can beat Resident Evil 1 and 2 in an hour if you're a speedrunner. So uh, so technically, you can get the story that fast if you want, or at least the events that fast. Um, so to me, I'm like, yeah, there is enough there to where you can do an hour of Resident Evil 1, hour of Resident Evil 2, and inter, you know edit them together in a way to where it all makes sense and all works or you could have a big mess on your hands <laughs> i don't know i'm very curious to hear what you guys think of that um, but i want to hear what your thoughts are on sammy joining the cast as enrico marini because like i said he does have a kind of a pivotal point in the game which is he's the one who reveals to chris or jill depending on which uh, scenario you're playing he's the one who reveals there's a traitor on the team he knows firsthand that there is and that ends up, uh, spoiler alert, uh, that ends up getting him killed uh, because he's about to tell Chris or Jill who the traitor is or who he thinks it is. And then from behind Chris or Jill, depending on the scenario, uh, the, the someone shoots Enrico and kills him and silences him. So uh, so again, he, he's he's kind of pivotal in playing up the um, conspiracy uh, angle, the, the, the spies and uh, misdirection angle and misinformation angle. He's very important in playing that type of that side of the story up so i hope he's you know doing that here in this film as well but uh, i don't want to go on too much there's not really too much to say other than the fact that we have sammy azero here who's listed officially as enrico marini so let me know what you think of enrico joining the cast of this movie are you excited um you know is there a, a scene you know from enrico that you'd like to see be translated into this movie obviously his big scene is him revealing trying to reveal the traitor and getting shot but uh, he also has scenes in Resident Evil Zero as well, where he runs into Rebecca in the lab from, um, you know, that's the underground lab or whatever that ties into the uh, water waste facility or whatever it is and where the frogs are and everything and the prototype tyrant is um, and the leech monster is from Resident Evil Zero. So, uh, so he does have a couple other scenes in Resident Evil Zero, but are there any scenes from the games that you'd like to see recreated with Enrico? Uh, let me know that down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, uh, tune into the next episode because we are going to talk about uh, the cast member, the stunt double who I found who's playing a stunt double for a young actress. And when I looked up that young actress, I found out which character she's playing, and she's playing a character from Resident Evil 2 um, who ties into the, one of the villains of the film. Uh, so obviously you'll probably guess, but for those who can't, don't forget to say subscribe so you can uh, watch the next episode and see the reveal of who the next cast member is. And that's who I got. I got three cast members today. So uh, we did one already with Ben. We have Enrico here. Next one's coming up very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.